look, this guy's out now. Then I can go for a normal summon right now. I can I can normal summon this bad boy. Uh, I'll normal by tributing. I'll tribute mm, the tricky because midfielder could still be used. So I can still bounce back midfielder for other stuff. But rebounder is gonna get his effect. So right now I could go for you, but no, no, no. Dude, this tech is so like it's so cheeky. My opponent had nothing, and that's gonna be their downfall. We got Dreadnought Dunker right now, which is pretty busted. So what I'm gonna add to hand is probably this guy because he's just he's just really good. If if all goes well, I can tribute next turn and do other shenanigans. So right now we're good. How's it going, guys? RNG Life here, and today we're jumping into ranked once again. And this time, I'm showing off them UAs. I don't know why I never noticed this, but UA is also the name of the uh, like the Hero Academy from My Hero Academia. So I was like, oh man, that's that's a coincidence. And this guy looks just like that one guy, Ida, uh, with the, with the same like quirk as him. So I'm like, hey, what a coincidence. But whatever. But aside from that, uh, this deck is actually pretty strong. Uh, I got super lucky with the midfielders. I managed to pull one naturally. If you guys did check out my stream. I got one from a special deal, and then off screen, I was pulling, uh, I was grinding gems with characters, leveling them up to try to get more packs to pull a Biss Bike, and I managed to get a third copy of Midfielder, so I was like, all right, GG, I'm making this deck. So Midfielder is a heart and soul of this deck. He is the one that you can normal summon easily in combination with the field spell. You can normal summon uh, with the field spell, you get a search. And when you get a search, you can pretty much tag out and all this other stuff. He's really cool because he has this ability where he can be he can be your competitive aspect of the deck because you can use him defensively. So if your opponent activates some kind of card like Econ or whatever uh, on him, I don't know, I don't know exactly. Maybe like a Treacherous is more common. Uh, if they're gonna activate Treacherous. You can actually use his effect, protect the monster you want to protect by bouncing it back. So that can be really, really useful uh, in a competitive aspect. Uh, but we are also running pretty much the big, uh, the big UAs, which are Dreadnought Dunker, three copies of Rival Rebounder, and one copy of Mighty Slugger. In this deck. Re Rival Rebounder is the best because if you do tribute summon him, he gets you an extra, pretty much special summon of, of one of these uh, UAs from either the hand or the grave. So uh, there are a little, a lot of cheeky shenanigans you can do with it to pretty much try to swarm the board with these guys and potentially hit for game. Now Dreadnought Dunker is really, really good because he's the one that can pretty much pop your opponent's stuff. He can destroy their back row. He can deal piercing. So it, he's a pretty good card. He's really, really good, actually. Uh, this guy has this ability where they pretty much can't uh, wall of D. They can't mirror wall. They can't use any traps on him until after, well, when he attacks, until after the damage step. So they, the cards they would have to use are cards like uh, the activate afterwards, like Michizure and stuff like that, which nobody really runs anymore. Uh, we are running two copies of the Tricky because I was looking for ways to get more monsters on board. Uh, I was looking for a way, I mean, the natural thought is to go for Mithra, which I'm running one copy because I only have one. Uh, but Mithra is really good. You can just special summon her and then you can tribute. Uh, but Tricky is also pretty good too because you can use his effect, throw one of these guys away, and then tribute for Rival Rebounder and get him right back out of the grave, whatever card you, you sent away. So Tricky is just really good. It makes plays. Uh, we are using Cyber Style, which gives you extra monsters. So you do want to take damage sometimes, but I've noticed that I think the perfect amount of damage to take is to have maybe a, above a thousand uh, life points. So if you have above a thousand, you can get two Cyber Dragons and then you can have you can have the ability to swarm the board because if your uh, life points are under a thousand you're gonna have three cyber dragons and you're pretty much gonna clog up your own board because you can only really tag out for one ua uh, we are running three copies of the, of the field i'm doing this just because i can to be honest I, he I heard some people say uh during the stream that you should run two to three but i mean i have like five copies of it so i was like screw it dude i'm going for consistency i just want to draw it early that's about it one copy of Cosmic Cyclone because we are using Cyber Style, so if we do take a thousand damage from it and banish their whatever back row, it could be really useful for us uh, to enable plays. Like, say we end up with a dead draw hand, just these two guys in hand, and this, and I don't know, maybe a trap. Uh, if we end up with those, we can actually use this, pop our opponent's back row, use our, our skill Cyber Style, go for this guy, uh, then go for this guy because he, you get to pretty much piggyback summon once you normal summon Rival Rebounder. So it can do a lot of stuff. It can really do a lot of stuff. Uh, so there's that. Two copies of Paleozoic Canadia. It can get, get you an extra tribute fodder thing because it can't come back from the grave. Uh, so that's pretty good right there. Also, it's really good at just shutting down plays. And it kind of takes place of Econ more or less because it could put your opponent's stuff face down. I considered throwing Econ in the deck, but I was like, nah, I'm going to hold off on it for now. 
uh, because I, there's just too many cards I want to test out. Uh, but I also threw in two copies of UA Penalty Box. I only have two. But I think I'm going to keep it at two for now. I mean, most people might run it at three because it's basically kind of like a SSA for the deck. It's pretty, it's pretty cheeky. Uh, but I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but I, I probably will on this episode. Uh, but we're doing that. And then, then to top it off, one copy of Treacherous because Treacherous is not hit yet. And until it gets hit, I'm going to keep running it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. As for cards you can run, extra cards, we also have cards like Arrival Rivals, uh, Escalation of the Monarchs, Soul Exchange. All these cards that give you an extra, like... Uh, Tribute summon. They can let you let you summon more monsters. Like this one's. Just, I, I honestly wanted to go rival rivals because it lets you normal summon again. So if you have this guy in hand, you can get an extra search with the field. It, it's just really cheeky, uh, and it also can be used on your opponent's turn. So if they do try to do anything funny, you can mess them. You can mess them up without a rival rivals. Uh, but it's only during the battle phase. Uh, but that's pretty good right there. I also consider this because it's pretty much the same, but it's only for tributes. Uh, this one, but I felt like Soul Exchange was too slow because it doesn't let you battle. And this deck is kind of OTK oriented, so it just kind of wants to beat down your opponent. Other cards that work are these guys, Dinotherium and Gilosaurus, which both do more or less the same thing. They can special summon themselves, revive a monster from your opponent's grave, uh, if they have any. If they don't, then it's just a free special summon, and you can just tribute summon them away. Uh, other cards I want to try out, Galaxy Cyclone, which I got lucky and managed to get my third copy as well. I considered using this, but I was like, nah, in this, in this particular build, Cyber Style, I need to go for Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right in, and let's see how we do today. All right, who's first? We got S Butt. It's Pakistan, dude. Flat rank one. S Butt over here, using Joey Wheeler. All right, so let's see what kind of Joey Wheeler player we got. Uh, and it, hey, look, I'm on the winning streak. So yeah, because I did, I did get a surprising amount of wins uh, last time with the uh, Mermels, right? Uh, so. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? Ooh, this hand is actually pretty good. And I'm going first, so that's not the best. But I do have UA, so I'm gonna have to do this. I think this get this deck really likes going second, but right now I'm gonna have to do this. Which midfielder? I could just summon him. Midfielder is really good because you can just normal summon him, and he's a UA, and you get all your benefits. I can pretty much search out this bad boy, but I really want to go for Rival Rebounder because he's off he's amazing. Uh, also. Here's this other thing. If I wait until my opponent's turn, I should be able to use midfielder on their turn. I'm gonna go for like slugger or something. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do some shenanigans here. Um, I'm testing stuff out. So, summon, effect of the field, uh, special summon again. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing stuff right now, dude. I'm just showing up. All right, that was cool because this is only once per turn that you get the power up. So I just did that just to show off. But right now, I want, I want my opponent to try to attack me. This is the thing. I want to test out midfielders. I really do. I want to see if they try to... Oh, they had nothing! Okay, fair enough. Oh, we actually drew the dunker, dude. We actually drew the dunker! Alright, so here's, here's the play. I'm going to go for the trick. We got that special. We get to actually throw out uh, probably this guy. It don't matter, dude. Look, because I've already revealed him before. So look, this guy's out now. Then... I can go for a normal summon right now. I can I can normal summon this bad boy. Uh, I'll normal by tributing. I'll tribute mm, the tricky probably. Either that or midfielder. Now I'm gonna get rid of tricky because midfielder could still be used. So I can still bounce back midfielder for other stuff. But rebounder is gonna get his effect. So right now I could go for you, but no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Dude, this deck is so like it's so cheeky. My opponent had nothing. And that's going to be their downfall, because we got Dreadnought Dunker right now, which is pretty busted. So what I'm going to add to hand is probably this guy, because he's just he's just really good. If, if all goes well, I can tribute next turn and do other shenanigans. So right now, we're good. I'm going to go ahead and enter battle. I want to see if I can do any like weird stuff right now. But we're going to hit for 3k. If it goes through, which I don't know if it will, it did, I'm going to use his effect. You get to destroy a card on their field. Bam! And I am sorry, dude. It's a game. Unless you got Karibo, but I highly doubt it. All right, so that was, that was kind of a freebie. That was kind of a freebie. He had nothing. He, he bricked with red eyes. I'm sorry, opponent. I, I showed off on you. <laughs> I'm actually being like evil Zane right now, but I'm just like messing with my opponents uh, and just trying to get that win. But no, this deck is pretty good. Unfortunately, my opponent didn't get to do much, but next game. And we got the rank up, so that's not bad. All right, who's next? 
Let's see, we got Crown over here with the actual Crown. Plat rank 4 from Mexico, dude. Mexico. Uh, Aster Phoenix is here to take us on. I think in the anime, Aster Phoenix was the one that beat Zayn and made him go crazy, right? Uh, but right now, he's on a losing streak. I have a decent open hand, opening hand. I didn't get the field, which kind of sucks, but it's not its not too bad, actually. I, I can make this work. Uh, one thing is you don't want to tricky and send away rival rebounder. He's got heroes. All right. So if he goes full on mass heroes, I think we're going to need... Um, we're gonna need our, our not rival rebounder, uh, Dreadnought Dunker. That's the guy we need. We need Dunker. So, all right, midfielder. All right, another midfielder, dude. All right, so I think well, obvious. The obvious first play is you gotta go midfielder. Look at that midfielder, dude. Uh, do you have anything on the summon? A Kanadia. Okay, let's see if he can chain his uh, effect. No, you cannot. Uh, that's fine. What I can do right now is I can still go for the tricky. I can. I can technically get rid of a rival rebounder. In this situation, I, I'd rather get rid of him. Not this one, because he's not glossy. So, free tricky. So there we go. Now, any any other things? Do you have a treacherous for me? Battle? Do you have a mass change? I want to force out mass changes, because this guy destroys field spells, so. Forbidden Chalice to Clash. Okay. I've lost nothing. I mean, you lose your monster, that's cool. You lost all your back row. I still have this guy on the field. Um, Alright, I'm still pretty good. I mean, you only have a thousand attacks. So you, I mean, you could do shenanigans. Heroes can... Or heroes, mass heroes. Um, yeah, mass heroes, D heroes. They do a lot of shenanigans when they when they do their stuff. Uh, he's going to pretty much go for a fusion right now, I believe. So, ooh, and he's going to go for... Wait, no, why, why did you do that? No, don't banish him, dude! He's really good! Why'd you get rid of Celestial? Alright, I mean, fair enough. Uh, okay, so they're gonna go for their fusion no matter what. They wanted to keep their little uh, dream clown or whatever his name is, dude. I'm gonna drink water real quick. Dude, I'm so thirsty. <clears throat> I'm dying over here, dude. But whatever. So they got this big boss monster. Oh no, you're scaring me, dude. Your monster's too big, but now you have nothing in hand. You kind of used all your resources. And, oh man, these midfielders coming out of left field. Um, or is it right field, because it's coming from my deck. It's right field, dude. So we get to actually summon this bad boy. And then I get to go for this special summon. He doesn't get any benefits from it, but I just need to get that, that bounce back. So, look at this. And one thing they can do is they can still use their, uh, what's his nuts from the grave? They can still use Dreamer. So, I can try to attack and, and bait out the Dreamer. That's all I can really do right now. So, go for the attack, bait out Dreamer. Yeah, Dreamer. That's fine. Alright, we're good. So now, he could get a power-up right now. He could very easily get a power-up by discarding a thing and doing what he needs to do. Probably shouldn't have gotten rid of Celestial, though. That was a kind of a risky move, because he could have gotten some pretty good draw power. But whatever. Uh, let's see what you got. I mean, they could... Yeah, he's going to power over. That's fine. Uh, so we have two midfielders right now. Ooh, he actually got rid of Destiny draw. Okay, and Mally. All right, cool, cool, cool. So he can actually use Mally's effect to pretty much summon him, but he didn't. Okay, he's just going to power over me for 200. That's fine. So here's the thing. We still have midfield. If we actually draw the field spell right now, that would be really busted. Or a trap. Alright, Slugger will do. Slugger will do. Alright, so midfielder effect. Look at this. He, he just keeps coming back. And now I can bounce him. So, we still got monsters that can be used. And you can't use any effects on this guy, so that's why he's pretty good. I think it's no card effects, right? Uh, it's like your opponent cannot activate cards or effects. They got nothing, dude. They can't activate Karibo. They can't activate anything. That's why Mighty Slugger is pretty cool. I'm, I'm running it on one, though, because um, you can search them out. Him and Dreadnought, even though Dreadnought is so good, you can search him with the field. So as long as you get the field, you're good. So he's going for Mally. All right, so he's going to get an extra monster. Uh, in Duel Links, we only have two Mally, so that's all he's got. Draw. Mithra. There you are, but we don't need you right now. I can go for a midfielder, though. I'm going to normal summon you. I really wish I had the field spell right now, dude. If I had the field, it would be a lot more busted. But let's go ahead and battle. Uh, let's get this guy banished real quick. 
So banish is what I is what I meant to say, right? All right, attack. Slugger. Ooh, wait, no, he bounces back something else, right? We'll we'll see. I want a free attack right now. I, I don't mind ba bouncing back uh, this guy for um you. I don't mind it because I get a free hit. Hey, <laughs> not bad. All right, so that's why midfield is pretty cool. Because he, he allows those kind of plays that let you kind of stack more hits upon himself. Uh, you can only use it once, I believe. Uh, I'm still getting used to the deck. I'm still getting used to midfielder's effects in general. But he's got Destiny Calling. Oh, okay, so now he wants to power over my stuff. Which, to be fair, I can always bounce back. So if I had if I had Rival Rebounder right now, it would be so nice. Uh, I do want him to attack me, though. So I can try to chain. So he's setting. He's going to battle. It doesn't matter what he does, to be 100% honest, because, uh, sure, I can do my stuff, but let's... I think that one's effect activates. Um, he activates and bounces back the other one. Yeah. So that's that's how that works. So now we're going to go ahead and get this guy out. It doesn't really matter, because I had two of the same card. So look, now this guy's out. Um, he can't treacherous yet, so that's good. Uh, actually, can he treacherous? He, he, has, he might have a trap in the grave. I'm not 100% sure. But, alright, we took that damage. We still haven't even taken enough to go for a, um, a Cyber Dragon, which is kind of funny. Uh, but let's draw. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, so we got Penalty Box, which is a really good surprise card. It's really, really good for that surprise factor. Uh, I could actually Special Summon Mithra right now just to clog up their board, but Mithra, Mithra works really well with the other with Dreadnought Dunker because he deals piercing. So I think I'm just going to Normal Summon you. I'm going to Normal Summon you right now. I'm good here. If I had the field spell, dude, it would be so much better. He has something he can activate. That is okay, I guess. I really wish I had another uh, another UA in hand. got to be careful with this, though. This is only when they attack. So, yeah, if a Destiny Hero Monster attacks. So, I can still special, but I really don't see the point. Yeah, I really don't see the point. So, let's battle. I just hope he doesn't have a Treacherous. If he has Treacherous, it's going to really suck. Uh, but right now, we're going to go ahead and battle right here. You can't activate stuff, actually. Yeah, you're screwed. You can't chain to him. So, I would have game if I had another UA in hand. Uh, unless he has an Econ and can just stop me, that's fine. He didn't. Wow. I wonder what you got, D-Hero player. They haven't even proven to be playing Mass Heroes. Uh, which, I think it's just D-Heroes. Uh, but whatever, let's see what you got. Aster. Alright, so he's going for the Drill Dark. Um, that's cool. Uh, so here I can actually go for penalty box, but I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it for the for the when he targets me in battle or whatever. I want to see if I can actually do this. It's my whoa! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I forgot he does that. He gets the power up. I was forgetting that, but yeah, we're good. Activate penalty box. Nice move, but here's a better one. All right, so Kanadia, go ahead, dude. I don't even care. Go ahead. Still want to continue the attack? Probably not. Probably not a good idea. Oh, he is! Alright, penalty box then. Get banished, dude. Get banished. Get out of here. Get out of my face. Unless you want to, like, quickly econ take. Can he? No, it's damage step. No, but this chains, so he could technically do other stuff. Okay, he's gonna try to clash. Um, you, you know... Oh, no, penalty box is once per turn. So that does go through. Okay, GG. That's the difference between this and like SSA and Onslaught. Uh, so there you got one turn. So gimme gimme. There you are. There's the big boss monster I've been waiting for. Uh, at this point, I think it's it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I could do this though. And this is kind of funny. So I'm going to go for you in attack position. Because this could be lethal right here. I'm going to put that out. And now... I'm going to... I think I'd rather go for the special right here. So we're going to special, but bouncing this guy back. Put him in attack position, and now I can. Now I should be able to normal. I should be able to normal summon this guy in hand. Oh, they got Chalice to negate my effect. So I don't deal piercing. Pretty good, but the thing is, I still have... I can... I'm. Oh man, I can still special to bounce him back. Dude, this is... This deck is so dumb. But yeah, we're going to... We're going to tribute summon. Oh man, this deck is so cheeky. Sure, we're not fighting against like crazy 
opponents or anything. I'm not fighting meta. Um, it just allows me an extra normal summon. Why not activate it? It doesn't really matter. Uh, so now, battle. I don't have piercing with my other guy, so I I'm not attacking with them. This one at least uh, guarantees that I do that. You know what? Screw it. Penalty box. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. Banished. And that's a game. Pretty good. Pretty good, dude. I gotta say, I mean, I, I'm i really liking this deck. Let's see if we can get another game in, though. All right. Last duel. Let's see, we got Jinx over here. Plat rank one from Peru. Uh, so that's cool. Let's see what you got for me, Jinx. We got Ashizu as my opponent. Uh, so, am I going to be able to have a quick game right now? I'm going second, so that's really good because I get an extra draw. I get extra shenanigans. Dude, turn two is pretty busted in, in Duel Links right now. Turn two is really busted. Uh, but we have, we have a really good opening hand. This is actually, you can't ask for a better hand. We have Stadium, we have Midfielder. These two together, just, they're, they're the nuts. They're the best combo you can open up with. Uh, because they get you searches, they get you pretty much a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, only thing that can make it better is if we have the trap. Wow, another person that just sets back row and passes. Alright, we got another rival rebounder. So, here is the thing. I'm gonna go ahead and activate the UA Stadium. Let's see if they have a Cyclone. Oh, they might. They might have a, a Cosmic Cyclone. That might be Cosmic Cyclone. It's a risky move to set just Cosmic Cyclone, though, so I don't know if it is. Uh, but I'm definitely going to summon UA Midfielder. So once Midfielder is out, I get that free search with the field spell because it's just so beautiful. Uh, so Stadium's effect. Give me that search, baby. All right, so I think I'm going to go for you right now. Why? Why not? Uh, so let's go ahead and add him. I could also add the other one and not be stopped during the battle, uh, which would be pretty cheeky. But right now, if I do normal summon, which I can't because mm, I've already normal summoned this turn, I could still pretty much do this, though. So I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. I'll just do this. Bounce back. Summon you. I don't want to use Tricky to get rid of a midfielder. There it is. Solemn Scolding. They paid 3,000 to negate that. Oh, you done goofed because I have Tricky. <laughs> Oh, unfortunate. How unfortunate. How unfortunate. They're going to quit. They're going to quit. They quit. No, no. I, I would just lag for some reason, but yeah. Oh, that was a pretty quick game. <laughs> oh, these guys have so much, like, they have so much shenanigans they can do, but whatever. That's pretty much that. All right. And in conclusion, I think UAs have a lot of potential. I've heard, I honestly... I have a huge bias for Mermels. Like I, I deeply, deeply love Mermels. Mermels are like, Mermels are my thing, dude. I, I really love Mermels. Uh, so I think they're good, even or I think they're better than they might be, because uh, so, uh, I've heard a lot of people that are like into the meta saying stuff about like, oh, Mermels are not good. What's good is UA. So, I mean, that's a more educated opinion, I guess. Uh, I guess UAs are, are pretty much gonna be the best deck from this set. I don't know. I just personally can't get over my bias for Mermels. To, to just say that because uh, I don't know I feel like Mermos are really 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 fun for me and I just really like them but maybe UA is the way to go I don't know it's honestly because of midfielder I think mid midfielder has like so many like cheeky abilities to bounce back and and kind of shut down your opponent's stuff and also in combination with the trap and the field it, it, it's just the perfect scenario for like a really really good setup uh, but whatever, that's pretty much that. Let me know if you guys are running UAs or Mermels or what, what you guys are running from the new set. What, what is your favorite deck? Uh, for now, uh, I honestly still like Mermels. I really want to revisit them just make a lot of really cheeky, mean Mermel decks. But whatever, that's pretty much it for today. And if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more dueling shenanigans. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day, and see you guys.